All right, well Newfoundland is unique in a lot of ways, that's for sure. Whether we're growing turnip or keeping bees or making maple syrup, we have some pretty unique weather challenges. Uh, but when it comes to maple syrup, we also have, uh, the weather's actually really cooperative. Because what maple syrup relies on is that temperature swing when we go from being below freezing to above freezing. And when I read about that, the books that was talking about maple syrup making, the first thing I thought of was that's, that's a two month long period here. In so that's pretty much all of March and April. It's fluctuating between thaw and freeze, and thaw and freeze. And that's really quite ideal for maple syrup production. So I've got the drill bit, five sixteenths of an inch, and I'm gonna go in here. You wanna go in about three quarters of an inch to an inch. Basically, the amount of space is at the back of the tap. Uh, the other quick handy guide you can use is your thumb. Your thumb knuckle is about an inch long. Of course, you need a drill with uh, enough power to do this, and you go in. Yeah, folks, you can see the sawdust coming out of here. That sawdust can clog up the tap. This little hole in the bottom of the tap is where the sap comes in. So blow out the tap and make sure you're getting all of the sawdust out because if the sawdust plugs the bottom here, nothing's going to happen. No sap dripping yet. You can squeeze it in with your hand like this. I'm just going to twist it a little until it's firm. And then just have something like a hammer and just give it a couple gentle taps. Make sure I don't fall in the river. <laughs> and she's in. Sure. Where uh, where do you think you'll go look for some trees? So I live in Conception Bay site, okay. and there's a lot of, I live near the Manuals River Bridge. Okay. So there's lots of maple trees in that area. I'm going to go and see if I can find some. Nice. The thing Steve said on Saturday was to make sure that the hole is on an angle so that the, the sap drips down. And um, just give it a shot. I'm hoping I've tapped my first tree, and uh, we'll see how that goes. For Kicker News in St. John's, I'm Alan Bradbury. <laughs>